Hello everyone, it's me Pratibha Thapaliya from Grade 8 Masa Pushre and today I am here among you all to show you some science experiments which was given as project by our respected science teacher Deepak Sar. So today I have here two projects to show you, one is related to physics and another is related to chemistry. So let's begin with the physics now. So uh, related to physics, today I am going to show you experiment about floating and sinking. Uh, as we all know, floating and sinking of an object depends upon the density of the object and water in which it is kept. So let's start the experiment. Okay, so for the experiment today, I have here two glasses with me and I have to fill it with water. Let's do it. I have water here and I'm going to fill it. So you can see it's been filled. Right now, here I have two glasses uh, with me filled with water. Both are the pure water and nothing is mixed in, this, uh, mixed in this water. And I have taken one egg as you can see here. And both of them are pure water. So let me keep one of them aside. And you can see I'll keep it in here water right, like this now. And you can see it's, it has gone down and the water level is up. So we know that it's sinking. So it's, it has this to the bottom. So you can say that the egg is... Uh, it has sinked in the water so if i will add uh, some salt in this water then we can see what will happen so i'm carefully taking it out okay ah. and here now i have taken some salt in the ball you can see here so i'm gonna add some of it in this water so you can see i'm adding it so i'm gonna stir it for some time so you can see i'm stirring it uh, little by little so it's going to mix pretty soon so here i have completed the sink as i cannot see any salt rocks in here so now let's add egg in it so here is the egg uh, maybe i have added too much salt in it so water is not that clear but let me show you okay so as i have left it you you can see it's floating like previously in pure water it was still here like but Maybe you cannot see clearly, but maybe little, little you can see. It's in here, okay, right? So this is the difference between the floating and the sinking. Uh, so maybe you could see the difference. Okay, now this experiment has been completed as I have already shown you. Uh, in pure water, like it sinks, completely goes down. But, uh, but in salt solution, it stays up and floats. So maybe you have find, uh, found the difference and this experiment has been completed. So let's move towards another. As we have already completed our first experiment, let's move towards our second experiment. Uh, the second experiment is related to chemistry and it's related to the mixer. And I'm going to show you about uh, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Okay, for this experiment also we have taken two glasses and we are going to fill it with water. So our two glasses are ready and in one glass we are going to add some salt. Like, look, I have taken some salt and I am going to add it here and I am going to stir it for some time. Okay, I have stirred and again, I'm gonna, in another glass, I'm gonna take some sand. I'm gonna take some sand and put it in here and mix it. It looks a bit dirty. I'm gonna stir it, okay? So, let's stir both of the glass for a while. Okay, now I have already uh, stirred both of the glass very nicely. And we can see the results. And, um... In here we can uh, see the uh, mixture like sand and water we can separate uh, with our naked eyes whereas we can see which one where is the salt it's completely mixed with the water uh, so this one is called the homogeneous mixture and this one is called the heterogeneous mixture so if you want better results we can even come after five minutes so let's wait for five minutes okay now it's already been five minutes and as i was talking for the present better result you can see here i'll show you so you can in here you can see this uh, here is sand at the bottom 
it's separated from the water but salt has not been separated like it's completely mixed with the water and we cannot see it with our naked eyes but we can see here sand at the bottom of the uh, glass so this is the difference between homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture Um, so both the experiment for today has been completed one was related to physics and one was related to chemistry and I really hope that you will also be doing such type of experiment which is easy to do in our home uh, this much for today thank you bye bye and stay home stay safe